And I think all new grads start as night shift. I don't know why they do that, but I'm close to one year of orientation. Did I know this before I started? Communicate with the provider. Like, I don't have to be scared of them. Like, I'm not even enough of beans, but you know what I mean. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What's up? Happy New Year! If you're new here, I know there's a bunch of you guys that are new and I really appreciate it. And I think you guys came from my How to Pass the NCLEX 2023. And listen, this year we're passing the NCLEX in 2024. If you haven't watched that video yet, just go and be encouraged. I didn't really give you guys rocket science tips, but just it's an encouraging story, right? So I'm really appreciative that you guys decided to follow and be a part of the fam. I promise I'm not gonna let you guys down. I'm gonna try my best this year to show up more and just be the super encouraging, rejoiced that I am. Okay, and if you're returning, what's up? Thanks for coming back. It's so good to see you guys again. Today's video is all about being a nurse. I have been a nurse for the past three months. I started being a nurse October 9th and it's like January. By the time you guys see this video, it'll be already past Past, like the three months more but I wanted to do a reflection on like how it's been I'm a pediatric nurse if I haven't said that yet I work as a float pool and so basically what a float pool does is you literally float throughout the hospital whether it's general med surge or ICU you could also get trained to be float to the ED but yeah I honestly didn't think I was going to enjoy being a float as I really do now I mean I feel like being a float pool honestly you're one of like the smartest people in the hospital because you're literally supposed to know everything right you're supposed to be what jack of all trades mass of all um do i feel like the smartest person yet so far not yet but we're getting there give me a year and then we'll come back and we'll react to this video i truly truly enjoying my experience we're gonna divide this video into like different segments so basically how i'm feeling being like three months into nursing financial wise how that's going <laughs> and what i hope for the future right honestly it's been good i've enjoyed my day shift experience i don't even know how i'm gonna feel feel like when I go back to night shift well go back as in like go into night shift so the way my orientation is set up is we do like the first weeks on days then we go back I think nights and then we stay on nights because I was primarily hired as a night shift nurse and I think all new grads that's as night shift I don't know why they do that but honestly it's fine I'm not complaining but so far day shift don't know what I enjoy about it I think it's probably because I work during the normal day hours of like life you know like I get to wake up at 5 or something a.m get dressed go to work living life as a normal human being you know what i mean like it can get busy and like the time can go by fast it depends on the day day shift is a lot of experience and i've enjoyed learning what i also enjoy so far my preceptors have been nice i've really been blessed with the preceptors they like put me in i don't have any horror preceptor story i mean that's as bad as i would want to make a video about also i don't think i would want to make a video about that because then i would probably be called to the hr or something i don't know anyone who's watching these videos right um, anyway, three months in, I would say that I'm basically almost to the point of where I'm primarily by myself. Like, my first month or first two months, whenever a doctor or somebody comes to the room and asks me, like, oh, do you have any concerns about this patient? I'd be like, I'm in orientation. The nurse is outside. <laughs> I'd be like, not that I know of, but the nurse, the nurse is outside. Just... She's just, she's just, she's just outside. But now I would say that I've kind of become a little bit more confident in just being able to like communicate with the provider. Like I don't have to be scared of them. Like sometimes we have that mindset of like the providers are our bosses and like they basically tell us what to do. But yeah, I would say that now that if a provider comes and asks me questions, I think I become more familiar with my patients' cases that I could be like, oh no there's nothing wrong we're good oh uh, oh maybe this this is what's going on and like there's concerns from the parent sides there's concerns from the patient like basically all of that to say this shift is nice financially wise listen if you're going into nursing for the money just abort mission abort mission i'm not gonna be dramatic and say no don't do that, that that everybody has their own reasons for going to nursing being a bedside nurse does not pay you nothing and i'm saying this as like i'm still in orientation so i'm getting paid as orientation now once i'm done with orientation and i go to night shift obviously they, they have like differentials here and there but still you think because you're saving lives and you're being a healthcare hero you get bags and bags and bags no, you're getting beans. 
not even enough for beans but you know what i mean but then again really you shouldn't go into any career field because of money because you would you look you your eyes will see your ears will yeah you see the shaggy that will be shaking you the amount of work you put in for the amount of things i don't think nurses are compensated the way we should be but that's another story for another day okay so with that being said i'm about to finish like my general med surge orientation i would say in the next what three three weeks and then i move into maybe five just kidding not three weeks maybe four weeks because we have one more week of hemoc and then we have another two weeks of bmt if i'm not mistaken and then we're going to NICU, and then then we do like protective time and stuff so i would say all together we're looking at close to one year of orientation did i know this before i started i think so i don't even know but i'm honestly grateful for where i'm at i love I love my job. I love the hospital that I'm in. Okay, love is a strong word and we're still on, we're still three months in. I like my job. I like the hospital that I'm in. I like that I get to make a difference in the lives of my patients. But that's basically what my three months has been. And for the future, I really hope that I become even more confident than I am. Because it, it, it takes a level of confidence to be able to like be a nurse. And especially as a float pool, every floors are different. Sometimes you can get overflow of something that is not common on that floor and so everyone talks about how like being a floor put nurse you actually be a resource to the floor that you go to and yada 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 and that's that would scare you as a new grad nurse as a small nurse because you're just starting you're like how am i supposed to know every single thing but you know what my god is able more than able to do more than able than what you can think of so yeah i'm not afraid afraid i am not I'm not anxious anymore, I feel like, because again, three months in, I know it's still like, still a little bit in the timeline of the whole career has been a nurse, but I feel like so far I've had really good experience and I can't wait for more. Night shift will be here soon and we'll talk about how that experience will be because, mm, yeah. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about how I'm even in pediatrics or whatever it is about the pediatric world, I would do my best to answer them. Um, and then if I don't know, you guys will know that I don't know because I will also let you know that I don't know. But thank you guys again for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>